Hello everybody and welcome back to BMG Drive. So in this video we're going to be doing something pretty different from the usual. We're going to be testing low riders with different amounts of gravity. So we're going to be seeing how high we can jump them and also how easily we can f*** them up because that's also fun, isn't it? So before we start, if you're sitting on the toy right now, make sure to smash like and subscribe. And with this being said, let's get into it. So before we start jumping these cars, I want to actually show you the cars. So here we have the Gavril Blue Buck, the lowrider of lowriders, the Pip Machine God. But, you know, I am a man who likes selection. I like options in life. So here's the entire lineup of lowriders I'm going to be testing. Yeah, it's only three cars. I'm sorry. So <laughs> we have, as I said, the Blue Buck, the Grand Marshal, and back there, the beloved Kashira, which I actually already checked out, even in its low rider form in another video. I'll leave it here, check it out if you want. But anyways, starting with the Blue Buck, which is actually in baby blue now, looks excellent, best color in the world. Anyways, let's see how high he can jump. All right, pretty decent. Kind of stiff, but not too bad. He's a nice jumpy boy. I like it. Now, time for the depressed face boy. Let's see what he's got. Ouch, he's lamped his chin there. Must have hurt. And finally, it's time for the minivan. Can he jump higher than these other American fatties? Let's see. Holy shit! <gasps> Is this a fucking kangaroo? Just look at it. Anyways, I think it's time to start playing around with gravity. So, let's start with Mars gravity. Mars is probably the closest thing we have to Earth in our solar system and we're getting close to landing people there. So, let's see if Mr. Elon Musk himself can pimp his Tesla and jump about on the red planet. So, I'm gonna turn the blue buck on. Not quite a Tesla, actually. Probably the opposite of a Tesla, but anyways, I'm gonna start driving. So, straight away, since we don't have much weight, this car probably weighs half of what it should weigh, uh, we have some decent amount of wheel spin. Is it too much? Actually, no. It makes for some pretty satisfying slow drifting. If you know me, I'm a sucker for it. And, well, I am pretty bad at drifting. But yeah, it's, it's not a deal breaker. Totally doable. But who even gives a shit about drifting when you can do this? It flies. Holy f it flies. So I want to see if this is actually useful. I already f***ed up the rear bumper. How strange. But right after this corner, there's a nice hump there. I'm going to try jumping it. So... It kind of f***ed us. Like, literally. But this is a pretty good start. But only on mass gravity. L let me remind you of this. Can I get out of this nasty situation? Maybe if I jumped. Maybe not. Maybe yes, it worked. So another cool thing about low riders is that if you hold and press the key to jump, it actually stances up. So we've jumped there, but look at this. We can keep it nice and tall. And now it's basically an off-roader. So let's go off-roading with mass gravity. So I'm gonna start with this, and since this car weighs half of what it should weigh, going up hills is a breeze. Just look at us. Getting stuck. Yeah, I think there's no getting out of this one, unfortunately. Yeah, poor thing. So now it's time to test the depressed looking boy, but with even less gravity. Right now, boys, we're at moon gravity. So, the moon, the closest big thing to us. I mean, relatively speaking. Anyways, I'm gonna turn it on. 
I'm sorry for my useless science lectures. I'm gonna start rhyming. So, we've got a lot more wheel spin right now and f this is hard to control. It's like it's on ice. We're in a bush now. Uh, so I'm gonna try controlling it now. I'm gonna go left. Uh, excuse me, what the f***? So, this is very, very hard actually. And kind of frustrating. I mean, just look at this. It seems like we're in slow motion, what the f***? So, I appear to be stuck. Thank god, we have air suspension. And sh does it go high? So this is wheel spin for days, like literally. Holy f Might lose it here. We're actually going pretty quick. Don't think I'm gonna be able to stop. Big jump. I'm gonna fly this one. <laughs> Big oof. Holy sh <laughs> This was the softest backwards landing a car has ever had. Still broke the windshield though. All f is up. But I think you'd probably be fine. Like, look at this shit. The car is literally standing on its roof. And the interior is, well... Pretty f***ed up. So I'm going to attempt jumping it again now. But at the top of this hill. If you can call it a hill. So maybe we can actually get a nice view of the map. Uh, I think not. Another pretty soft landing with a broken wheel and shield because, well, glass is glass, as Jerry Rig Everything says. Scratches at a level 6 with deeper grooves at a level 7. But yeah, moon gravity do be pretty lame, let's be honest. So, now it's time to divide it by 3. And we're on Pluto, yes, which is not a planet. What the f is a Kashira doing? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna turn it on. Nice Japanese V6. And I'm gonna try to start driving. Oh, f***. Well, thank God this is four-wheel drive. Because holy sh we're struggling. You know what? You know, usually when I say, you know what, the car actually stops. But anyways, I want to see how much it weighs on the scale. So I'm going to whip it out and we're going to see. So it's time to see if the Kashira actually weighs more or less than me. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. While I try to, you know, get on the pad, you guys try and guess. Is this Japanese MPV heavier or lighter than me? Well, uh, it's a bit lighter than me actually, so congratulations to who guessed it was lighter. But yeah, anyways, this scale is completely broken. I don't think it actually, you know, accounts for gravity, so I'm going to try launching it now. And I think I'm going to front flip. I'm going to try to compensate. Yeah, nothing. So, right now, we're at the sun's gravity, so let's see how the other cars are doing. Well, he's pretty squished. Kinda sad, but let's see the sad boy himself. Let's see how he's doing. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Not so well, is he? Can the wheels still go up? They kinda do, but they just slam into the car afterwards. Imagine getting your hand stuck in there. Like, fing get chopped. <laughs> the door just flipped open. What the f? Do the wheel still move? Probably out of all, and yes, it doesn't turn on. And finally, can he jump? Kind of flexes. Do the doors open? That one does. This one does. You see how low it is to the ground? This is easy access. 
This is perfect for the elderly. Anyways, I'm gonna turn it on. I turned it off. I'm gonna start driving. Uh, I think it's not moving. Yep, no chance. So, it's now time for Uranus, which actually has a lesser gravitational pull than Earth. Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty controllable, but it actually goes faster than what it does on Earth. And it probably jumps even higher. Yeah, look at it. Uranus gravity is better than Earth gravity. F Imagine how sick the world would be with this gravity right here. Just think about it. Y you know what? This gets me going. Time to open a new segment. So, I've whipped out a tog rack, and see, if we had Uranus gravity on Earth, things would be pretty epic, in my opinion. So, I'm gonna... This is not what I wanted to do, but okay. So, I'm gonna launch this pretty standard tog rack, just to show you. Massive amounts of wheel spin. Pretty quick, off the line. Very, very agile in the corners. Just, just look at this. It looks like it's on rails. Basically, need for speed handling. And yeah, the car is just more playful. And you know what? We're actually consuming less fuel than on Earth because the car is actually lighter than it would be. So the engine isn't working as hard as it would. And you know what? Things probably wouldn't be so different here on Earth with this light change in gravity. And probably, you know, there's a V-source video out there explaining why we'd all die and the universe would just collapse into itself. And, you know, in my opinion, as a dumb 18-year-old, I think it could work. And I see more positive aspects than negative ones. You'd probably all be affected by osteoporosis or some shit. But yeah, let me just dream. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know why this video actually escalated in this way. I was supposed to test, you know, lowriders with different gravities. Not a big task in itself, but yeah, I guess it is what it is. So, thank you so much for watching this shorter than usual and actually pretty weird video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to smash like and subscribe. And with this being said, I guess I'll see you very soon.